Are you obsessed with completing everything that you can in a video game, making your own challenges, doing things the hard way? Well, that's what we're about to do here. There's no mods, there is no cheating, and the only thing that is allowed is whatever the game settings allow without that. Because otherwise it would be trivial. The Sims 4 is just no challenge unless you make restrictions for yourself. So basically what I am doing here is we are raising a super sim. And I had to start over several times because what happened is the blue sims weren't actually half alien. For some reason, even if they had blue skin, that doesn't mean that they were half alien. So I had to start all over. And I basically did that off camera because it was so annoying and took forever. But we finally have our infant that has the ancient bloodline for a spellcaster and greater wolf blood. She's also Father Winter's baby and she has the Sulani mana trait. So right now we're just trying to get her to roll over, which is going to take forever. I have added a new member to the family. So this is Kathy Conroy. She has no relation to any of the other Sims. And she is going to be helping out with the infant because I, I just can't. Because it's just so hard to keep up with needs and an infant at the same time. So now you are going to go handle whatever is wrong with Carla. What is wrong with you, Carla? Oh, you need to pee and you probably could eat. So let's just go ahead and feed her. No, no crying, no fussing. Don't, don't go night night yet. Okay, we'll change her diaper and then we'll put her to bed because I think she's tired. All right, to show you how much I had to try again, this is my original Super Sim. Cora, well, the original one that was going to be the mother of the Super Sim was Cora. She was a dormant wolf, but I figured out that she was not half alien despite being a blue baby. So I married her to an alien so that we could get half alien babies. And I had to age them up in order to figure out that she, Carrie, was half alien. And then we tried to get another dormant wolf, which we eventually did. His name was Nash. And then we married a spellcaster and we had to get them basic well actually she wasn't the dormant wolf okay so carrie was a spellcaster so i had to keep marrying them to spellcasters to get the ancient bloodline again first so we did that and we had to keep having babies in order to make sure that we got a half alien each time so the last one was janet baron who was the ancient bloodline and then she married a werewolf and then we had to get the lone wolf, which was Lily. So Lily was the lone wolf and she married another Father Winter who was turned into a werewolf. And this is how many times I had to try. Okay, now I know some of these are twins and I had one set of triplets, but still, how many times I had to try over and over again until I finally got the one that had all of the traits that I needed half alien greater wolf blood and ancient bloodline because greater wolf blood was like i would say maybe one out of five were born with that because i did get one that had greater wolf blood but was not a half alien and that was so annoying we finally did get one that had all of the traits and so she is going to be our super sim I also moved out of Solani because I didn't like the fact that the neighbors would always come into the house. It was just so annoying. So I built a new house since we have an infant now anyway, and I got rid of all of the baby stuff for the newborns and we replaced it with infant stuff. Now this house is gaudy. I mean, it is a mess. But I think that, you know, just because it's tacky, it's so tacky and so ugly that it's actually beautiful. I love it. So the colors are very, very loud, but this is The Sims. Come on, I would never actually live in a house like this, but in The Sims, for some reason, I just think it looks so nice. Because The Sims is supposed to be weird and outlandish and just a little bit ridiculous. So we have the bedroom, which I put three beds in here. We don't need the third one yet, but I put it there just in case we have guests. 
And we have the infant crib, we have the play mat, and some toys for later on. The changing table, a couple of bathrooms. I put toilets only in these bathrooms over here. And we have the little toddler potty along with the baby Yoda. And then there's bathtubs over here for bathing. And we have a nice living slash kitchen slash dining area. And this is pretty much we're going to be having the adults do cooking and maybe a little bit of painting. Maybe I should get her to paint in order to get some more money. And hopefully they will just paint on their own because this place is expensive. Now it's a micro home, which means I get all of the benefits of having a small house because parts of this house are fake. So if we go into build mode, you can see that these rooms over here are not really rooms, even though they're counted as inside because they have a roof. So the only part that is actually a room is this one right here and the upstairs, because I wanted to build a two story micro home that basically allows me to have a set of stairs because the toddler as one of the milestones has to complete climbing the stairs so that we're actually going to do that. We're going to do all of the milestones for Carla and I'm going to save the game at various places in order to make sure that I get all of the milestones and we're not cheated because of bugs because I'm not allowed to use cheats to add a milestone if it's glitched but I will allow myself to restart the game from a safe position in order to make sure we can get them all. Because there is a current bug with toddlers that they can't get the toddler trait that allows them to gain skills faster until they get to be a young adult. So I did figure out that even though they don't get the trait when they age up to a child, they will get it when they age up to a young adult. So I'm going to hopefully trust that and we're going to accept the fact that she can't use the trait during her childhood and teen years. Now, unfortunately, because of the way I had to do the traits, that means Carla is currently a werewolf. So when she gets to be a teenager, we're going to need to cure her of being a werewolf because I don't want to deal with a werewolf first. I want to do some of the other aspirations and some of the other things before I start working on occults. We're unfortunately stuck with a werewolf baby. I don't know why it takes them so long to get the lift head milestone. It's just ridiculous. She's lifting her head. Okay, finally, she got the lift head milestone. So now we need to work on rolling over. Welcome wagon. Hmm, do I really want the welcome wagon? I suppose. Oh, the welcome wagon should give her her first visitor's milestone. Okay, yes. So I do want the welcome wagon. Whoops, I should also pay the bills. Oh, she peed on me. Okay, that should be a milestone. Yep. Okay, let's introduce her to our friend that came over with the welcome wagon. What's your name? Vanessa Jiang. She's a notable newcomer. Why are you playing peekaboo? No, don't play peekaboo with her. Go introduce her. Okay, you stop talking to her. Maybe that'll help. Oh, Lily has work in one hour. I forgot that I got them jobs. Okay, we need to cancel the work because she doesn't need a job. All right, that was her first visitor milestone and she doesn't like her. Oh, that's so funny. I like her face. Look at that face. I don't like the crying infant. Please take her back. Okay, give her back. Come on, Vanessa. She doesn't like you. Give her back. Okay, are you going to play peekaboo or what are you doing? Okay, pick up tummy time together. Okay, I don't know why infants are so bugged, but it seems like if two of them are trying to do something with her, then oh, this is going to be so annoying because I can't use cheats to reset. Great. I can, however, restart the game, but that's going to be super annoying. Okay, let's stop with the pickup. No, we're not going to work. Let's put her down over here. Maybe we can actually quit our job. Put the infant down. Great. She only has go to work as an option. Let's go to 
maybe you can take vacation days and still get paid now. I, I, I just don't want to mess with it. Come on, let's just let's quit the job. Okay, welcome back after I had to restart. That's going to be annoying, but it's going to be frequent, I think. Okay, quit your job. And don't check the infant. Oh, she's tired. Oh, she's trying to do tummy time with me, but she's exhausted. Okay, I shouldn't have introduced someone to the infant and then had them stay. Oh, I think I'm going to have to cancel this welcome wagon. What do you mean maybe next time? I, I guess it's because I didn't, I didn't talk to her. Okay, fair enough. I had one person say something to you. Well, I'm, now I'm going to send you home. Okay, you are super tired. Let's feed you. Okay, and you stop talking to her. Okay, very good. Go paint. Come on, go feed the infant. Okay, if I feed her and get her to use her diaper and change her diaper, maybe she can sleep through the night because she's super tired. Uh, I doubt it though. She's wiggly. She probably will have a hard time getting that milestone, but oh well. In fact, now that I got the peed on caregiver milestone, I don't know if I really need the changing table. I think the changing table just slows things down, but I guess we'll keep it for a little while. Oh, and she wasn't in the same room, so she didn't even use the changing table. Okay, good to know. Now put her down to sleep. Oh yeah, she is super, super tired. Okay, let's go paint. Is That's not yours. Why are you dancing? Go paint something. All right, yes, I know you are super tired. That's why I'm telling you to go to sleep now. Maybe I should build a mobile over this crib if I have a chance. Uh, unfortunately, since she's in it, I don't think I can. I think I can buy another crib though and maybe swap them out. Okay, we'll do a space mobile. Okay, you are sleeping. Please don't wake up. You have so long to sleep and it will definitely count as sleeping through the night if you can stay asleep until your energy is full. Ah, why can't I finish it? All right, that one is bugged. All right, now we have the one with the baby mobile, so hopefully she can sleep through the night one of these times. And I got rid of the changing table because I think she really doesn't need it. All right, we're going to see if we can get the rolling over milestones next because I think the gross motor are the most difficult to get because I don't ever see them get them without help. And they always get the fine motor and the firsts and, e and the social without even trying. Oh, and she rolled over. Good. Now let's try for rolling over the other way. Are you getting tired yet? Not really. It looks like you're having fun, but you have no fun bar yet. So I guess tummy time is supposed to be fun, but it doesn't look like it's fun because she's crying the entire time. Really? Oh, you're going to get a milestone from looking at the toys, aren't you? Yep. See I, what I mean? It, she doesn't need it. Reach. I don't need to do any fine motor stuff. Just the gross motor stuff. Okay, quit looking at the toys. Please get your rollover to tummy. Come on, let's do it. Okay, no milestone. It looks like you're getting tired though. So what I might try to do is feed you and put you to bed. No crying, no going night night yet. Not yet. Okay, now maybe since she's being soothed to sleep, she will actually stay asleep until she gets the sleep through the night. Um, I'm not sure though, her energy is only yellow. Another thing is I really want the happy infant trait or top notch infant. So I need to keep her needs really, really high. All right, and we're already up. I guess maybe it won't count as sleeping through the night unless it's actually at night. Are you putting her back to bed? Okay, I think she needs to eat. Okay, and we have the coup milestone unlocked now. And she wasn't even near anybody to coup at. So that's why you don't really need to do anything for the other milestones. Okay, now she can roll over to her tummy and she's doing tummy time on her own. So she can actually get the next gross motor by herself if she keeps doing tummy time by herself. So we'll leave her alone for that one. Okay, we'll become best friends. 
really, really quick moving here. Okay, she's getting the milestone. Yep, she's creeping. Now for crawling, we will need help. Okay, she's been asleep since 11 p.m. It is now after 5 a.m. and her energy bar is almost full. If she doesn't get sleep through the night, I don't know how you get it other than that. Okay, we can practice sitting now, but we can't practice crawling yet. Okay, I think she needs the sit-up milestone first. Oh, this is always annoying. I can't get them to put her in a place where they can help her sit up. No, don't check her. Just put her down where I told you to put her down. What are you doing? Don't go over there. And you put her in a place where I told, didn't tell you to sit. Okay, whatever. Can you practice sitting over here? Oh, and this is going to be a quick one. Okay, learn to sit up right away. And take forever doing it. There she goes. Okay, now that she can sit up, she can actually bounce around to different places, which is kind of annoying. All right, you need something to eat. That's fine. Can we practice crawling now? Okay, yes, we can practice crawling. No, don't put her on the play mat. I'm going to have to get rid of that play mat. Yeah, you can't do that on the play mat. Pick her up. No, don't play with the toys. You can do that later. I wish I could let them do whatever they want, but unfortunately there are certain activities that you have to do with an infant in order for them to be able to learn something, which is completely unrealistic because they can learn how to roll over without someone teaching them and without someone doing tummy time. Of course, it will take a lot longer that way, but they still do eventually learn how to do it. No time for doing other things. You're going to learn how to crawl. Oh, she's tired. Well, I guess we're going to try the high chair food once and then maybe we'll feed her and then put her to bed. Because the high chair food doesn't seem to get them full all of the time or even actually none of the time if they're very hungry. So we might have to actually breastfeed her or bottle feed her. Please tell me she's not a messy eater. Oh, she's a messy eater. That was her last quirk. Uh, she frequently sneezes, hates wake up time, and is a messy eater. Great. Okay, now we'll try some papaya because you're still not full. And then we're going to go to sleep. Okay, she's not sure about the papaya, but she's eating it. That's all that matters. Okay, which milestone is she getting now? I'm not sure. Laugh. Okay. All right, we need to clean you up and put you to bed. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't fuss. Oh, is she going to crawl? Oh, maybe not. She fell over. There she goes. Okay, so I, I think that's a crawl. Are you going to give it to me, game? Uh, I don't see you giving it to me. Okay, now they're giving it to me. That was a delayed reaction. Okay, now she can crawl around. And the other milestone, which is pull to stand, is a pain because you have to actually have a chair or something for them to pull up on or they won't get the milestone. Okay, your needs are still good. So let's try practicing pull to stand. But in order to do that, I think I have to take all of the chairs first and pull them out from under the table because she cannot use those chairs to stand up when they are pushed under a table or a desk. Okay, when she's doing the practicing standing, you'll see her pull up on something. But if she doesn't get the pull up on something action, she isn't getting the milestone. I think they probably actually have to crawl around a little bit first too because it seems like the dude... The practice standing doesn't do very much. Oh, she is going to do it now. Reaching a milestone. Okay, so basically she picked one of the chairs that was still under the table. So, okay. What I might do then is just put all of these chairs in the inventory. Because I only want one chair out. And then we also got to put this chair in the inventory so that there is only one choice on the lot for a chair to pull up on and that chair is available. This is so stupid. She didn't get the milestone, even though she reached it, it didn't count because she couldn't actually pull up on something. Okay, are you going to get the milestone this time? Okay, she is. So she crawls over here 
and it's so cute and she comes over here and pulls up to stand but like i said it's just so annoying that the chair has to be free because who leaves a chair out in the open not pushed into into a table or pushed into a desk I guess if it was a living room chair or a couch or something, it might be better, but I don't have any of those on this lot because they're just not necessary. So there she goes. And I think that is pretty much all of our gross motor milestones. I don't think there are any other ones. Okay, you're a little bit hungry, so we'll put you in the high chair and try to see if you like papaya again. Okay, she doesn't like papaya. Okay, stop feeding her that. Feed her something else. Okay, she doesn't like mashed mango. How about applesauce? Yay, she likes applesauce. Okay, are you going to finish it? And then we need to put you to bed, probably after you change your diaper. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. You're full. Okay, she's reaching some sort of milestone, and she asked to be picked up because of it. I, I wonder what it is. Oh, she's putting her toe in her mouth? Oh, no, it was just grab, because she grabbed her toe. Okay. All right, use your diaper, and then maybe you'll get a blowout? Because she has not gotten a blowout yet, even though I have given her a bath. No blowout. Okay. No, don't go night-night. We will put you down somewhere else. Come on, get out of the bathtub. You can't take a bath yet. You can take a bath after you put the baby to bed. Okay, we'll play Twinkle Twinkle, and we'll soothe to sleep. Even though her face is still a mess, you can go to sleep with a messy face. All right, now you can go take a bath. And you need to actually take a bath too. Why do you have two earbuds? That is really weird. And you don't have any earbuds, but it doesn't matter because you're having fun anyway. But we'll get them just in case later you're not having any fun. Okay, I guess that the next thing that we should work on is the fine motor. I think there's actually dance still under gross motor, but I'm not sure how to get that one yet. So we'll continue with fine motor so that she can get to finger food. Yeah, I know. You don't like wake up time. I wonder how you clean up her face. I think there's a clean up interaction. I just changed your diaper and you're going to use it again. Just like any other infant I've ever had. Okay, yeah, the cleanup interaction got rid of the face messiness. Now we got to change your diaper again. And then we'll put you in the little activity center. Don't cry. Play with the toys. All right, what should we do? I guess we could go talk, but I don't really want you to talk. What can you upgrade? Oh, she got the babble milestone. I missed that one. So there's a couple of other social ones that don't show up on the prompt list. You can get the one to play peekaboo and blow kisses and blow raspberries, I think. I don't know exactly how to get those, but we'll try by interacting with the other Sims. Okay, I'm not sure how to get her to put her toe in her mouth, but she already has the grab one, I think. Yeah, so she has reach and grab. So she should be able to get the finger food now. It says playing with toy box toys, dollhouse blocks, and the infant play mat will help Carla progress through the fine motor milestones. So I guess just playing with the toys is enough. Okay, let's put her in the high chair again and try yogurt. Probably almost time for her to go to bed again, but it doesn't look like she's getting the mood lit that says she needs to, to sleep, which is surprising since her energy is down by half. Does she like yogurt? Mm, unsure. Okay. Okay, we'll try crushed carrots, which she probably doesn't like at all. What about mashed peas? Surely you don't like peas because it's a vegetable. Okay, she likes the mashed peas. All right, next we can actually put you to bed because I think that you are full and very tired now. Okay, I know you have to use the, the bathroom or actually I know you have to use your diaper, but I'm going to hopefully get you to go to sleep and maybe have a blowout. Usually blowout is not hard to get. I don't know why she hasn't had one yet. Okay, she's still unsure about yogurt. Why? You would think she would be a cautious infant with how much she's unsure about. And now we'll try the crushed carrots again. Okay, she loves the crushed carrots. 
So we're going to try rice porridge. Maybe not changing her diaper will help her have a blowout. I don't want her to get a diaper rash, but I think that she needs some help getting a blowout for some reason. All right, she likes the rice porridge, so we'll stop that and give her something else. Oh, you have to like ice cream. Every kid likes ice cream. Oh, of course, she loves the ice cream. All right, let's clean you up now. Maybe if we have her play with the blocks. I don't know if she can play with blocks or not, but we'll try. Okay, let's play with the blocks and try not to use our diaper because we want it to explode. I know that's a silly goal, but that's just the way it works. Maybe we'll try blowing raspberries at her because I think that might get her to blow raspberry too. And another thing is playing peekaboo with her. Hopefully I can stop her from using her diaper until it just blows out. Did you get a milestone? You did something. Oh yes, you put the toe in the mouth. Okay, good. No, I can't cancel the used diaper. Okay, if I tell her to do something else, it cancels the used diaper. <laughs> and there's the blowout. Okay, so that worked. Getting her to do other things until she needs to use the toilet and basically explodes, that's how you get a blowout. Okay, let's give her a bubble bath. Oh, she was going to learn to dance, but she has to pull to stand, I think, in order to do it. All right, so I have to do the stupid thing where I leave the chair out again. Okay, she loves yogurt now. Okay, I think she needs to learn pincer grasp before I can give her her finger food. And believe it or not, trying foods in the high chair also gives them the ability to sometimes get milestones for the fine motor skills like pincer grasp. She's not messy eater this time. All right, we'll soothe you to sleep and then we'll be able to get you full energy for tomorrow. Okay, back to trying more foods in the high chair. Do you like this one? I forget what it is. P pumpkin puree. Yes, she likes that. All right, let's try some homemade hummus. Okay, you like homemade hummus. Yeah, hummus is pretty good. All right, what else can we do? I guess we can try the wiggling thing again, but she's upgrading that, so... Hmm, what else? I guess we could play peekaboo. Okay, did you actually like that? Looks like she did. Are you going to do it again? Why are you sitting in a chair? Yeah, you, you didn't do it again. Okay. And maybe you can blow raspberries? Like, don't tell stories. Just do the peekaboo and the raspberries. Oh, I didn't know that was raspberries. That's kind of interesting. No, don't go babble with her. She's fixing that. Well, I guess these last communication milestones are also going to be hard to get. I'll have to look up and see if there's any easier way to trigger them. So it's almost midnight at the end of another week. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching.